Today's story is the pot of crispy gold chips by Miss Rose. One beautiful morning, the rainbow cat decided to take a walk in the forest. He loved the smell of flowers and the cool shade of the trees. All of a sudden, he saw a beautiful castle in the distance. I wonder who lives there, he said as he scampered toward the castle. The rainbow cat entered the castle. He was surprised to see a girl sobbing. The rainbow cat walked over to the girl and rubbed his head on her knee. Hello, are you okay? The rainbow cat asked gently. The girl lifted her head and looked at the rainbow cat curiously. No, I'm not okay, said the girl. My golden potatoes are gone. How will I be the potato princess without my potatoes? I can help you, said the rainbow cat. I will take you to the end of the rainbow. Maybe we can find an answer there. Okay, said the potato princess. And so the rainbow cat led the princess on a journey over the rainbow. The princess was surprised to see the beauty of her land from the top of the rainbow. Finally, they reached the end of the rainbow. I don't see my potatoes anywhere, said the princess, looking around with worry. The rainbow cat spotted something at the end of the rainbow. It was a big pot. He rushed over to the pot and looked inside. It was filled with potatoes. I thought the pot would be filled with gold, the rainbow cat said sadly, but it's filled with potatoes. My potatoes, cried the princess as she ran toward the pot. Suddenly, a leprechaun appeared on top of the pot. I'm sorry, but I cannot let you take these, he said. Someone took all my gold. Now all I have are these potatoes. If you take them, I will have nothing. But those potatoes are hers, cried the rainbow cat. I have an idea, the princess said. I'll take these potatoes home and then return your gold. Sure. But leave one, said the leprechaun, otherwise I will feel too sad. And so the princess and the rainbow cat took all the potatoes except one back to the castle. The princess cut the potatoes into beautiful circles. Then she fried them in oil. The rainbow cat watched in awe as the potato chips sizzled and hardened. Voila, said the princess as she put the last chip onto a tray. The next morning, the princess and the rainbow cat took the chips to the leprechaun. The leprechaun was surprised to see so many golden chips. He ate one and his eyes widened with amazement. These are so delicious, he cheered. I'm so happy. Then he danced around and a rainbow formed around the chips. Soon the potato chips started turning into gold coins. Each coin dropped into the leprechaun's pot. You found my gold, the leprechaun said cheerfully. He gave the last potato to the potato princess. 
she went back to her castle and planted it in her garden. Now let's wait for another great harvest, she told the rainbow cat. <laughs>